I'm uh, Sean Brennan. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Relay. Uh, for most of last year, we were, bu we were building front ends on top of XMTP wallet messaging. And so being in the chat space, November 30th, we're like, wow, there's, there's definitely a reason why AI would use crypto. And there's going to be a mix, basically an AI that controls and has self-custody over a wallet. And so I just wanted to talk today about some of the practical things on why we picked our stack for this, these AI agents, like an open stack. And then there's some theoretical things around um, the more like AI communication standards and some advancements in ZK ML that could be a very interesting solution. Um, so basically like it steps through like the first need that I believe is for agents to need a way to do commerce. Um, I think Don mentioned and a few people, multiple people have talked about how uh, agents controlling crypto and controlling wallets seems like a very natural evolution. It's unlikely they use banking APIs um, or using credit card payments. And so this could be a very, one of the necessary, like a, the general public would need crypto in order to interact with it, useful agents. Um, so first it starts with humans needing to use crypto to pay agents and then agents to agents can uh, engage in commerce, negotiate. And so there'd be a way to, uh, for an agent to check for the receipt of payment to it, which is more, it's more simple because you could just like watch the Etherscan API and uh, change the agent behavior based on that. Um, the, the other part of it where an agent can decide to spend crypto is I think more complex because there's, what if they're wrong, right? Like they could waste the money. Um, and so there's basically Relay is working on ways that an agent could self custody. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, so then the namespace, um, if we're on the EVM, um, like an Ethereum layer twos, then ENS is a human readable names. It's very easy to create uh, sub names for a company or a person. And then for example, like ai.metamask.eth could be the known name on uh, different clients to uh, message that chatbot. And that also lets you do things, they have new things around subnames where uh, you can basically mint NFTs that give rights to subnames and there's basically advancements in the EVM namespace that would make this even better. And then the next one is the message transport layer where if you're on the EVM and you're using ENS, what do you use for messaging? Um, there's a number of frameworks out there. Um, I put my top four here and since we're building on XMTP and I think they have the greatest benefits to offer right now and in the, in the future, uh, we're continuing to basically create XMTP adapters and our agents maybe can listen for messaging coming into their ENS name and then, uh, do their logic and then respond. And there's some alternatives there. Um, but I think what's critical is that all these different AIs agents have a way to initiate communication. Um, if you think more sci-fi, like in the future, if an agent even is able to start conversation, say it's like in another language with like an alien, the agent, uh, could then like Google it or look it up and then know how to speak that, uh, standard that that other agent is using. And so it's really like, that's a, that's a more sci-fi example, but basically I think there's going to be network effects on which messaging transport layer the agents use. And uh, the cool thing about this is that if you use this, then your agents are immediately available on different clients, including the XMTV app, um, the relay site, there's a converse mobile app, which is great. Um, and like there's a house on lens. And this is also useful for human to human interaction, human to chatbot, and we believe it'll be used for agent to agent. Um, and then there's basically the conclusion for this part is for commerce names and messaging, we have the EVM, ENS, and XMTP, and all our open protocols to build on top of. And so here's like what our site looks like when you talk to register.relaysc.eth, which is about ENS. And so you can register an ENS name. Um, and the same thing for Uniswap, where you can talk in human language and do a DeFi transaction. Um, some open questions here are for the EVM. Uh, it's basically easier to check for received tokens than for the agent to decide to send tokens. 
for ENS. Um, I think there's going to be a, a registry of agents. And so someone has to build that. There basically could be a, a known way for an agent to bootstrap onto the network and basically get a mapping of all different agents it can talk to. And then for XMTP, uh, I think there's a problem with civil resistance right now where it's too easy to spin up a new XMTP name with uh, basically no cost. And so if our agents are responding to messages, it's hard to tell whether it's a message from a first time user or from someone with 10,000 accounts spamming our bot. And literally it's like a wallet draining attack with uh, using open AI balance or uh, so like I think Gitcoin Passport, Worldcoin, some others are basically a way to check that it's a human or it's an agent that has some uh, basically proof that it's not civil attacking you. Um, and then more theoretical here is like, I think most of us would agree that like the, like the internet is kind of splitting into three different zones, human and human, where you can gate it by proof of personhood, human and agents, which are helpful chatbots and other useful agents. And then soon there's the idea of like agents and agents communicating. And so this is both good and bad. Like it's basically a 24 seven PVP zone for uh, agents to interact with each other. And there's a few uh, like attack services I just I put to here. There's probably a number of more where uh, you can either try to get the agent to reveal his prompt or reveal some private data or even the private key that it's using, or you can try to lie to the agents and basically get the agent to act in an improper man manner. Um, and then the solutions to that are, there's basically this idea of super coordination or super rationality where if an agent uh, can prove without a shadow of a doubt that it's able to only able to act in a certain way, uh, basically constrains its possible actions to something known. And so there's, uh, there's some links here. I'll also, I'm going to make, I'll put this document in the chat so you guys can check out these links, but basically there's a way through ZK proofs to prove how a machine learning model, how the output is uh, true. And so I believe there's a way to uh, basically show that an agent will act a certain way in regards to certain input. And so I think this is how we can get to agents cooperating and having like basically long-term positive sum games and is the agents are able to trust each other even more than humans are able to trust other humans. Um, and so that's pretty much it. Um, I basically invite everyone to uh, either review some of these links. Um, I put some links to say involved with Relay. Um, we have an alpha of our like XMTB bridge. I think my CTO just published that yesterday. So it's not there yet. But um, I think if you're interested in your agents able to either use uh, Ethereum tokens or communicate over XMTP, um, that's what we're building.